When you hear the word philanthropist, you may not think of a young Latino or Latina, but there is a group trying to change that image and make a difference in our Colorado communities. As part of Hispanic Heritage Month, 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez looks at the Young Latino Philanthropist Initiative. You could look at a person and judge them. 14 year old Boris Kocha Hill says many of his classmates are teased about the clothing they wear. When you're going into somebody's heart and into their thinking, you could see how much they suffered through. That's why this teen zine project was so eye opening. Just that idea that everybody has a heart and everybody has a story. The zine was a class project at DAVA. Downtown Aurora Visual Arts. They're actually involving themselves in hands on processes that involve problem solving and creativity. The teen zine caught the eye of the Young Latino Philanthropist Initiative, a group of young adults trying to change perception about Latinos giving back to their community. They awarded Dava a grant. We fell in love with Boris. <laughs> He was able to embody a voice that was really important for us to hear. Priscilla Montoya Vitello says no matter how much money each initiative member contributes, collectively they can make a difference. Our goal is to invest in community organizations or individuals who are committed to making change in the Latino community. Dava is doing that. As proof, both Jensen and Coach Hill traveled to the White House and met Michelle Obama after Dava received a National Arts and Humanities Youth Program Award in 2014. The students' voices jump out of the pages and, and to feel like this was such a cool project that we were in some way a part of. A cool project funded by a cool group that is helping change perceptions. Lance Hernandez, 7 News.